Okay, kids, now it's the time of class where we're going to practice reciting the books of the Bible. As always, I'll remind you, we do this to make it easier and quicker to look things up in the Bible. If we know where the books of the Bible are, it is much easier. So let's recite the books of the Bible. I'll put the chart up on the screen. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalm, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, 1st and 2nd Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, 1st and 2nd Thessalonians, 1st and 2nd Timothy, Titus, Philemon, Hebrews, James, 1st and 2nd Peter, 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John, Jude, and Revelation. Did you guys get them all? Good job. Okay, so now we're going to practice the sword drill. All right, are you guys ready? Do you want to race me? Do you think you can beat me? Hebrews 9, 26, and 27. Go. I'll put the chart up on the screen again. I will circle the book we're looking for, which is Hebrews right now, in yellow. All the books before it in green, which means keep going, keep looking. And all the books after it in red, which means go back, you went too far. So Hebrews 9, 26, and 27. I think you guys are beating me because I stopped to talk, huh? All right, do you have it? I'm gonna read it. I didn't say this before because I didn't want to confuse you if you didn't know. We're actually gonna do uh, chapter nine, verse 26 B, which means we're going to read the second half of the verse, but Christ came only once and for all time, just at the right time to take away all sins by sacrificing himself, just like everyone must die and then be judged. All right. Next verse is Romans six twenty three. Again, I'll put up the chart. The book of Romans will be in yellow. All the books before it are green, which means keep going. The books behind it are in red, which means you went too far, go back. Romans 6, 23, go. <clears throat> Did you find it? All right, good job. If you haven't found it yet, you can pause the video and follow along. The payment for sin is death, but God gives us the free gift of life forever in Jesus Christ, our Lord. All right, Bible's on your head. This is the last one. Proverbs 11, 4. Go. Again, I'll put the chart up. Book of Proverbs will be circled in yellow. All the books before it in green. If you see green, you want to keep going. Books after it in red. Did you find it? Good job, guys. All right, I'm gonna read the verse. Riches will not help you when it's time to die, but right living will save you from death. So these verses we just read tell us a lot about the consequences of sin. And it sounds pretty dangerous, death. In these verses, death is separation from God. Jesus loves us so much. He died so no one would ever have to be punished. So do you think God wrote these verses in the Bible to scare us, to make us scared? No, he didn't. He just wanted us to understand how dangerous sin can be. The Bible says that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power of love and a sound mind. So he doesn't want us to live in fear. When I originally wrote this series of uh, lessons, my kids were only two, three, and four years old. They weren't even old enough to be in my class. So now I've been rewriting it so that they can be helpers. And that has been so much fun. But back then, Johanna was only two. 
and she was into everything all the time. She got into things so often that her nickname was Joe Handful instead of Johanna. Now, if I had this pair of scissors and Johanna was that age and I said to her, Oh honey, I love you so, so much. Please don't touch these and left the room. Do you think she would still touch my scissors? Probably she would think crafting and fun, cutting paper, all the fun crafts. But if I showed these scissors to her and I said, I love you very much. These are dangerous. They can hurt you. Do you think I, that she would listen maybe a little more? Yeah. And that's what God was doing with these verses. He's telling us sin is dangerous. I love you very much. I don't want you to be hurt. So don't touch sin. All right. All right.